Hey guys, I wanted to uh, address picking an EDC this morning. I got up and I'd been thinking about it um, because uh, my friends at work say, you know, you've got a lot of knives. How do you pick? What do you pick? And then, like I said, if I'm going to work, I'm simply going to work, I'm going to take this. This is a work knife. It works. Oh, it's amazing at work. Perfect. It's the right size. However, I have other knives that meet a more specific purpose. So, and if the thing is here, 90% of the places that I would go out here in California, this can't go with me. It's it's just the nature of living in California that I can't take this with me everywhere. So, a lot of people would say, oh, I bet, bet you take this. I bet you take your... Nah, I don't take this. Because... If I'm picking EC, it's something that I'm going to rely on. And like I said in yesterday's video, last night's video, I've taken martial arts. And I can rely on a bladed weapon, an edged weapon, as, as a self-defense tool and as, as, a, as a weapon. Um, because I have that skill set. If you don't have that skill set, you probably shouldn't. One of the reasons that I say this would not be in my pile. I love this thing. It's amazing. It's cool. I got it for the cool factor. I didn't get it to carry per se. Um, but one of the reasons that this is not such a good option, you're in a fight, you're scuffling, you got your hand, he's got your right, your left hand, you've got this in your right hand, and you get this against his pant leg, and now I have nothing. I have to fumble around with it. I do not have a second chance of deployment. That requires no thought. So this for 90% of the time that I am not carrying this, and this is the reason why this is always in my pocket. Um, it is built with um, pretty much combat in mind, fighting in mind. It's, it's comfortable, it's got that forward choil that you can get good purchase on and it allows you to choke up and you've got good, and when you reverse grip it, it it's got that, just the right angle. Um, some people say, you know, what's that serve? Spider codes a lot of times have that for, from my perspective, having used weapon, edged weapons, um, for what they were designed for. They're, knife is a tool, it's not always a weapon, but any tool can be, 90% of the time, can be turned into a weapon. Um, that little drop from point allows me to hold that, and it accounts for my angle, and that thumb allows me to have a perfectly straight comes out perfectly straight and in a strike as I'm coming down that can't forward just having it rolled forward a little bit and bringing it down allows me maximum purchase with the cutting edge through the strike as I'm drawing it down as I'm drawing it down I'm making sure I'm not hitting my finger I'm hitting this this is canted forward so it is making maximum effective use of the belly of that knife and it has a big brown belly so, when I get up in the morning and know where I'm going, if I'm going to go do, and that, this, this is a good work knife too, but this is better. This serves the purpose of work knife better. But if I'm going somewhere with my wife and child where I can't take this, going to pick something that I'm comfortable and have practiced with, and I've, I've practiced with this, and pe people make fun of me because as far as preparation, I've got a friend that just actually just retired. Mike, I hope you're enjoying your drive. I will forward you this. Um, that say I'm paranoid. Oh, you're paranoid. I actually have snap caps. I have a magazine full of this is the actual real deal. And yes, my guns are always loaded. Condition one. There's one hot in the chamber ready to go. And a SIG does not have a safety because you know what? Here's my safety. All right. I clear my house. When my wife and kid are not around and things like that, I will put snap caps in the gun and I will practice different dynamic scenarios and I will turn off the lights in the house and I will navigate the house in the dark because know your environment and you have the home court advantage. Same thing. My daughter sees me do it. I practice with this. I practice I practice strikes. I practice parries. I practice different things that you learn when you, when you train combatives because I have a weapon. I actually have... Well, I'll take you with me. We'll go get it. There is a 
I went to a class for this knife. This knife is amazing. Um, but another thing that I can't always carry. I, I wish I'd, I'd, I'd do these videos on the fly and I'm never prepared. Poorly prepared. I had a teacher tell me that one time during, a, during an oral report. But um, K-Bar makes an amazing knife. The TDI. TDI? I think, I think it's TDI. K-Bar makes this knife and it allows even more dramatic Yes, the K-Bar TDI. Because it allows, that is perfect. That is a perfect while striking and you can just come straight forward. You can straight, and it's, it was designed for police officers and things like that. I'm trying to be quiet, my kid is studying Japanese in the kitchen. Um, you put this in your belt on your weak hand side and you can draw it out without any thought because it feels like a gun grip and you can just punch straight forward as opposed to having a, a tea dagger or a punch dagger but the i prefer to carry it strong side and that that reverse grip allows me to add an additional weapon to the arsenal um as you're striking because you know big hand and then I got a blade in it, I'm doing maximum damage. So I can still strike, but I can also, I can also do devastating damage with that. It's, and it's still has a factory edge on it. And it is, let's see if I can get it to focus on this. It's really sharp. So, you know, not saying that there's knives that right. Like, um, I wouldn't trust my life to this because when you in the more complex you make something, the more chance of failure. Um, and, and on top of that, it's 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 skinny, it's smooth. I may put this. I have a little um, in the waistband holster for this that this sits down in, um, so it's not taking up any pocket space. But the problem is, it's uncomfortable. But you know, you can put it in the small of your back and have it lay in the small of your back this way. And if if you needed to. In a, as a last ditch but like I said this this will work it's still way up there on my list and it's so incredibly sharp and it's the LMAX sorry Robbie LMAX LMAX is amazing holds an edge and you can get a polished polished edge on it so um, just wanted to talk to some of the the things about choosing your EDC. EDCs have a specific purpose and depending on the day that you or where you're going. I, I, don't, I don't carry this every day anymore because I love this little thing because this is so heavy. It really is. I didn't realize how incredibly heavy this is until I started carrying this every day. And then I picked this up because we're going somewhere today that's not work. This is coming along because I can carry this and, and have faith and know I have not tried to practice any strikes with this and I'm afraid with the, the shortness of the handle that it would not serve that purpose. It's an amazing knife, which is great, I love it, but it would not serve that purpose that I've practiced with something. So just like I said yesterday with my sword, I've practiced with that, I'm comfortable with that. I've practiced with this, I'm comfortable with this. So my EDC choice is based on what I'm doing that day. If I can't take this, I'm going to take this. Nine times out of ten, if I'm taking this, I'm taking this as well. So, um, just, just remember, just because you put a knife in your pocket does not mean it's going to be a reliable source of defense. I mean, in the last ditch, any knife will be a good defense weapon. But don't... I see guys that carry knives. I see guys that carry knives. And they think it makes them a badass. And they, they play, you know, oh, I've got a knife. I, I can take. If you do not know how to use a knife, you are going to get hurt. And that knife will be taken from you. And you will have your knife stuck in your gut or in your throat. And it will do you no good. So I would say if you're going to carry a knife for a defensive purpose, get some training and train with it. Um, the folks in Ohio that developed this knife have a course that I went to for this on how to use this knife as a defensive weapon. So it's, the, it's, it's an amazing way. They make a neck knife version of this as well, but it's amazing. So I'm going to get off of here. We're, we're trying to do three things at once. And uh, so you guys have a good weekend.